What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Today we're going to go over a new chest rig, chest pack that I have for this year. Uh, got this probably a month ago I'm going to say. Uh, used it a few times so far and really really happy with it. For all of you that follow the channel you probably saw my initial video for this season's predator hunting, coyote hunting videos where I did a complete overview of all my coyote hunting gear that I'm going to be using this year. I did mention that my new Helion handheld scanner is a little bit longer than my old one so my Alaska Guide Creations Bino Pack that I was using last year just didn't fit it real well and I mentioned in that video that I thought about buying a new pack and after a lot of research, uh, a lot of reviews being read, things like that, I decided to go with this Reese Thermal Pistol Pack and I think I'm going to be really happy with this, really excited about all the features that it has and like I say the few times that I've used it so far it's been really great. So what I'll do now is I'll move the camera, zoom in a little bit closer on this, and just go over some of the specs, some of the features on this, and uh, provide you guys a little better view on that. We're just going to start here on the front. Uh, take a look at the first pouch here on the bottom. Open that up for you. It's got good quality zippers on it. What I carry in here so far is just an extra... Uh, battery. These fit not only my trail, Pulsar trail, but also my Helion hand scanner. Makes that nice. MFK diaphragms. Big fan of those. Use those a ton. And of course you got to have your coyote cords, uh, coyote holler. These are a lifesaver, especially if you kill a double. Um, not only that, just a single. Just awesome equipment here. Makes it so much easier getting those coyotes out of the field and back to the truck. And that's it so far, what I've been throwing in the front. All that fits really well. Definitely some more room for more stuff in there if I need to. Just thrown back in here. And then on the front here, this is really nice. What I've done is I've kind of stowed this away, but you can see right here, there is a plastic clasp uh, buckle, whatever you want to call it that would buckle to this right here, which I've got it stowed under right here. The reason I put that away is so they don't bang against each other, but that's nice for security for traveling or whatever. Um, but the reason I don't use that is because right here, you've got a couple of magnets. You can see the stitching right here, these circles, magnets, and then magnets in the lid. So that just closes down. You can hear it kind of clasp to itself real solid right there so I don't use this plastic buckle at all just kind of let that hang free but anyway back into the lid it's real nice peel that back you can see right inside here you've got the helion on this side and then over here this is separated by a velcro piece this is removable so you could take this out and make this one large pouch but what I've done is I've used the provided velcro piece so I can put the Helion over here and then it doesn't clang against anything that would be stored over here. And what I've got down the bottom, just because I do YouTube, you know, coyote hunts, is I always carry my camera with me. So I've got a camera stored down there. And I think right now is just one of their extra lanyards and we'll go over that just a little bit here later. Uh, they provided this lanyard, which is really nice. Not sure if I'm going to use that yet or not, but that's nice to have so that's it right now so you could throw a pretty big size flashlight right here another handheld scanner uh, you could take this out and run some larger binoculars you can just kind of see there all the room that's available and give you guys an idea how big the scanner is for you guys that don't know this is the newer helion and like i mentioned earlier this did not fit very well in my alaska guide creations bino pack and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to upgrade to this so you can see here that that fits in there perfectly. And moving on, we'll close the lid there. You can see up top here, a couple of nice pieces of elastic. So you could throw some flashlights in here. You could throw a cell phone. You could slide your e-collar remote in here. Two of those on each side. One thing you'll notice all over this thing, I think there might be a total of eight on here, uh, but are these D-loops. So you could connect 
you know, other lanyards, uh, your own paracord string, whatever you want to, just for more security. Going on down my right side here, uh, I've just got some extra hand calls in case um, the batteries on my remote or my e collar fell or something. I've got a, a hand, another howler right here. And then right here, I've got another one stored. This is just a rabbit distress call. But you can see all these elastic pieces right here. Just really awesome flexibility for whatever you want to throw in there. On the back here is a couple more loops. These are not elastic, but I keep a streamlight uh, flashlight right here. Use this flashlight or this style of flashlight for a long, long time. These things are awesome, fairly cheap and pretty bright. And just don't take up much room. Flip it over here to the other side. For right now, and just to mention, uh, Reese Lanyards, they do offer some other external pieces or pouches, however you want to phrase it, that would go on the side of the, the thermal pack. But what I've done is, I, since I already had this, this is an Alaska Guide Creations, I just put this and attached it to the side of the new Reese Thermal Pistol Pack. But take a look at their website. They've got some other pouches that would work, work really, really well, of course, for your remote, some extra magazines. They actually have a large one. I think it's for a water bottle, I think, but it would actually fit probably a handheld scanner. Just tons of options there. And then like I mentioned earlier, you can see here, they've done a great job of using these D loops, more spots to connect collars, connect remotes, uh, handheld calls, whatever you want to, but they provide these all over the place. And this is probably the one that I'll end up attaching to my scanner. This came with it. And what I would do is I would just probably attach it right there. But you can see there's tons of different places to attach it. Tons of different flexibility, customization to your liking. So that's pretty much it on my left side. And I just kind of stow these out of the way for now. But they're always there if I need them. I could throw one of those on this e collar Don't put any lanyard uh, on my e call remote. And then flipping over to the back here. So this right here, these are built in. You can see these black pieces right here, hopefully. So what these are, these, if you're running this as like a bino harness, you can attach these to your binos. So you can go hands-free if you don't want to throw the binos back in your pack every time. You can just connect these lanyards right here to each side of your binos. And that's just an extra security piece. In case you would drop them or slip and fall or something, they're not going to fall down and hit the ground. You can see here, very nice padding on the shoulder straps. Each one, of course, will go around the shoulder, and I'll make sure and show you guys here. With this on, you can see right there, got to love that, made in the USA. Uh, as the name calls, this is called the Reese Thermal Pistol Pack. You can see right here. Very nice security here. This is another big magnet, and that will just clasp right there to keep your pistol in place. And this would fit a uh, full size, probably 1911, all the way down to subcompact. There's actually two different holster sleeves in here. I'm just carrying a uh, Ruger Mark IV 22 pistol just in case you know you might put an accidental bad shot on one of the coyotes. You need to get up and dispatch that. Very handy. Puts it right against your chest and keeps it very secure. I don't know if the light's going to show up very well, but like I mentioned, this has a main large compartment in here for full-size pistols. And then right back here, you can fit you know, a subcompact, much smaller pistol. So that's really nice. Um, they're kind of felt lined for added security to your pistol. But you can see how... Try to point it this way. You can see how... This pistol is unloaded. You can see how it keeps it pretty flat against your chest. Right there, pretty streamlined, so it's not very bulky. And to be honest, whenever this is on my chest, you can't even really tell it's there. So now I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what this looks like uh, putting on, how easy it is to put on. I've got my microphone stuck on the pack here, so hopefully it doesn't pick up too much extra noise. Always want to pull your hood through. 
so it kind of rests flat against your back. You just take this side here, run it down to the bottom right. It's got tons of adjustability. You know, you can adjust these buckles here to pull it up closer to your chin, up higher on your chest, whatever works best. I've got it setting a little bit low right now because it's been getting pretty cold outside, so I've got an extra layer on typically than this. And whenever that's the case, you know, you add some more clothes, that's gonna take up some room and bring it up just a little bit. But riding pretty well right here. You can see kind of how streamlined Fairly low profile for the size of this thing. And then like I mentioned earlier, the handgun just doesn't even come into play at all. Can't even really tell it's there. So all in all, just an awesome chest rig, chest pack for predator hunting, coyote hunting. I think I'm really gonna like this. Uh, just tons of features, suits me well, fits me well. And the main thing, it fits my new scanner perfect. I appreciate you guys following along on the channel here. It's been awesome. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. Uh, make sure and take a look at the cards here I'm going to throw up. Uh, throw up some previous year's playlist on coyote hunts if you guys haven't seen those. So appreciate you guys being along. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.